Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about the Asus Wi-Fi routers, especially the top tier Wi-Fi routers. Okay, and what are we going to discuss about them? We are, have already reviewed them with our live actual test and configuration. Yes, basically, the reason why we do a router review is to give us an idea on how far, what is the actual range that it can give us so we can connect to the internet via Wi-Fi and it can cover the entire house can I give us a better gaming experience or network experience basically those things we are not discussing the 2.5 and 10 gigabit LAN port that are available with these Wi-Fi routers so basically this is actually important ports and I really love what Asus did with this one because the reason why there is a 2.5 gigabit LAN port and 10 gigabit LAN port is for special cases by having it connected to our media server or maybe file server or NAS server or just server at our house okay the reason why we need that 2.5 or 10 gigabit LAN port is for better network experience and better experience overall because the reason for that one is maybe let's try just to give you an example on how it performs or how it works Okay, for our actual demo to better understand it, we will be using the ROG Rapture GTAX 11000 Pro and we have it in here. And as you can see, there are a lot of LAN cables connected because we are going to show you the LAN capability or maybe it's the same with the Wi-Fi con connectivity, but we're testing the 2.5 or the 10 gigabit LAN port available on this one. But guys, unfortunately, I don't have any 10 gigabit LAN card on my desktop or any of my computer. Uh, what I have at most is a 2.5 gigabit LAN card on my workstation or we will be using this one as a server to create a demonstration. Okay, right now we have seen the AX11000 Pro and this one will be catering as a file server. Okay, you can have a, a file server, a media server, anything that you want and this will be our two workstations okay these two workstations is directly connected to this wi-fi router as well by a LAN cable and connected to the gigabit LAN port and this server for now is connected to the gigabit LAN port okay so the test what we're going to do is we have a file coming from the server and of course this workstation will copy the file from the server and of course this workstation will copy the file so a gigabit LAN port connected uh, on the server and gigabit and gigabit so everything is in gigabit network connection so let's proceed with the demo okay guys for our first test this desktop will copy a file from our file server and we're going to copy a movie file which is around 4 gigabyte okay and copy on this one and let's try to check the traffic got coming on from this server as you can see it is around 900 mbps of transfer speed it is being received while for our media server or file server or it is send capability or network traffic is around 988 mbps transfer speed so basically the gigabit network connection is fully utilized in this setup okay for our second test this desktop and this laptop we'll copy a file from our main web or file server so simultaneously so gigabit gigabit and of course it has a gigabit network connection connected to rog gtax 11000 pro and let's try to copy a file from this one this is a 11 gig file so we're going to copy test one on here and of course at the same time we're going to copy test two on this computer okay and let's try to check the traffic going on right now this one only have around 18 mbps traffic as you can see and let's try to check this one it is only using around 950 mbps of traffic network traffic receiving and of course 32 on this one when we try to go back and let us try to go to our main web server it is trying to send around 990 or 980 plus mbps of send speed or bandwidth so it is fully utilized it because it's using a gigabit network only and of course the other two computer is also using a two gigabit 
Lancard as well, but unfortunately, the server only has one gigabit LAN connection, so both computer will definitely share the bandwidth coming from that server, which is a gigabit network connection. And guys, just to give you an idea, the both simultaneous copy from the file server, this computer actually took around 174 seconds to complete the 11 gig file transfer, while this one took around 191 seconds to copy the file from the file server. Okay guys, right now, we are going to connect our file server with the 10 gigabit LAN port. Okay, this is the 10 gigabit LAN port on this GTA X11000 Pro. Okay guys, right now, these two computer will try to copy a file again from the file server, the same file which is around 11 gigabyte of file size, a movie file, and our server is already connected to the 10 gigabit LAN port. But unfortunately, as I said, our desktop or server is only capable of 2.5 gigabit LAN port. Okay, so now let's try to copy the file again. So this will copy the test mp4. And this one will copy the test mp4 as well. And let us try to check the traffic utilization from this one. Okay, as you can see, it is around 990 or 980 Mbps of download or receive, while this one is getting almost the same, around 900 Mbps of download. And now, let's try to go to our file server. Okay, and for our file server, let's try to check this one out. As you can see, it is getting around 2 gigabit per second transfer speed because it is running on a 2.5 gigabit connection and both our computer is running gigabit network connection. So total of 2 gigabit network connection coming from our main server. Okay guys, and right now, this computer is already completed with the download and it took us around 100 seconds to complete the transfer. While for this one, it already completed the download as well. It also took 100 seconds to complete. And there you have it guys. You have seen on how well it performs. If you have a 10 gigabit network connection, that will be actually awesome. But for now, I only have 2.5, so maybe in the future, I'll get a 10 gigabit network card just to show you on how capable it is to transfer files. Okay, this is actually needed for me because I have a media server at the same time, a file server or a NAS server. Actually, all my videos are already put on those NAS server, and at the same time, that is actually the same with my media server running Plex. And my Plex is catering all the videos that I have, rip on my Blu-ray disc, and it is stream across my smart tv in this house or even on my mobile phone so if you're looking for a wi-fi router definitely a 2.5 gigabit LAN port or a 10 gigabit LAN port is a great addition with these wi-fi routers but if your primary use for your wi-fi router is just internet no need to get those 2.5 or 10 gigabit LAN port and i hope you learned something from this video and if you have comments and suggestions comment down below or message me at JK Chavez on FB. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and bye.